We're chilling at the Mitchell Ness flagship store with Chill Moody. What's going on, y'all? It's Chill Moody, West Philadelphia's own Mr. Nice Things, and this is it. Hello, Chill. How, How you doing? I'm great. It's I'm been great. a little bit since we yeah. sat down. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. How long do you wait until you can stop saying Happy New Year to people? I know I think it's about it. Today, I think like we did it. Off. Yeah, today was done. Right. But I let I'll let it slide. I let it slide. I let it slide. But it is a new, a beautiful new year. Yeah. I know that you have a ton of things going on, mm -hmm. a ton of things happening. But I'm really interested in the diversity of everything you have going on. I mean, mm -hmm. you are drinking a water that belongs to you. I didn't do that on purpose. Uh huh. Just right. a, little, a little parched. But I do love it. I love Appreciate it. So it. a water that belongs to you. We have the music. I know we have all of these different entities. What's up for 2015? Uh, more of all of those things. All, all those things that I, I built. And um, in 2014 and yeah. the years before, just you know, building, building on those and um, new endeavors. Yeah. I'm, I'm getting more involved in the whole artist management and oh. artist cultivation type situation. So beautiful. Just building, just trying to find ways to whatever door I open, bring yeah. a couple people through with me That's and beautiful. keep it going. Yeah. Like that. Build a little yeah. army. I love that. Chill, Chilluminati. The Chilluminati. <laughs> That's true. That's good. That's good. Now, in music in specific, mm -hmm. for yourself. Are there new projects on the horizon? Yeah. What are we working on? I'm working on a project with West Manchild right okay. now. It's called TV Made Me Do It. Okay. Um, West Manchild's producer from Philly. We did a project called West Chili before. All right. um, so it's, he sampled, the concept of the album is he sampled a bunch of old school TV mm -hmm. things and you know, we got old commercials and you know, so you can hear stuff like he sampled the Wonder Years, he sampled the Jeffersons, I think, and Good Times. I and love that. All of that. But it's like mix that with like, you know, nostalgic hip hop, like oh hip hop God. the way it's supposed to be. Absolutely. So that'll be coming out sometime this spring. Okay. Um, all right. You wanna make us wait? Yeah, a little bit. All right. That's I mean, fine. well I got I got my birthday party coming up, so I kinda wanna make sure that that's where it's supposed to be. Absolutely. When is your it. birthday? My birthday is March 4th. Okay. My party is March 7th. Okay. I'm headlining the TLA for my birthday party. Wonderful. 30. So we'll have to come through for sure. 30 is the new 30. Don't forget about me. I won't. I won't. You'll be here. Right. Okay. But yes, it's 30. 30 is the new 30. Okay. 30. Yeah, 30 is a good year. It was a good year for me. It was a couple years ago, but it was a good year for me. You know what I mean? Now you have, you know, complete right and passage to say what is on your mind. Right. I, no I got excuse. like authority when I say yes. that. Like I'm old. Head. I'm 30. I'm 30. <laughs> Easy. Easy with the old head. Easy with the old head. Oh, yeah, it's a time of endearment. <laughs> oh, it's thank Philly. you. All right. Like all love. All love. Well, let's talk about Philly just a little bit mm -hmm. now. Philly is a constant influence of yours. Yeah, I mean, you sure. could be anywhere, truly, as right. talented as you are, and, and as much as you travel, we always catch each other on the mm -hmm. plane on the way to, mm -hmm. to and from the Grammys. Right. Um, but why is Philly so important for you to stay local? Why is that important to you? It's all I know. Yeah. Like, and, and I take a lot of pride in where I'm from yeah. and you know the lineage before me and carrying that torch or whatever. Yeah. And um, also get like upset when sometimes artists do interviews and people ask, you know. Um, you feel like you gotta leave Philly to make yeah, it. Yeah. And I always hated that question. So I've decided to, you know, bite the bullet and be the one that, you know, stands there so five years from now you don't have to ask somebody, do right. you feel like they gotta leave Philly right. to right. leave? I, I don't you don't ask somebody in New York that. You, right. you never see somebody never. ask somebody in Atlanta or LA or wherever people travel to. Yeah. That's not a question that they ask right. them. So it shouldn't be a question you ask, especially with the talent that we have here and before. Yeah. It, should, it should be a question. I understand. No, I absolutely. And we're happy to have you here in Philly, that's for sure. Cool. Now, with everything that you have going on, again, we see some diversity. The mm -hmm. recent posts I've seen, you've been in a suit. Yeah. You've been looking dapper. Thank you. I mean, I appreciate the sweatshirt. I do. <laughs> and the brand and everything that goes along with right. it. But that suit you got it. with the sh shoes and the tie. Show them a little bit. Nice. Shout out to Deej. Deej is my, um, I don't know what camera I'm on. It's all right. It's all right. You give shout outs, you got to look at For somebody. the people. But, for the people. <laughs> that Deej, my stylist, she, um, she looked out and we yeah. came together and did that. And then Ebony Magazine picked up a bunch of the photos and we did an interview right. for Ebony.com. Um, it was good. Yeah, it was good, very good, good. Good to show that I can do. I like I like getting dressed up. The people liked it. Yeah, the people. My liked mom was it. happy. I know a lot of likes. <laughs> a lot of likes. That was for my sure. My mom was happy about that. You know, and maybe people weren't so used to seeing you in that frame. Right. Is there anything else that people that you could share with us that people may not know about you that would surprise them? Mm. I know you got to give it the beard rub on that one. I'm trying to think. I mean, everything you pretty much. I know you you're out on there. Instagram. Yeah. You see everything I do. I, I can cook. People don't know that. I yeah. Like what is your favorite? To cook, yeah. My steaks been been popping recently. Really? Like I've been I've been working on this whole like 
method of making these porterhouses that's kind of like popping right oh, now. Oh, porterhouses. You're not cutting any corners. All right. Nah, okay. Nah, that's whole, fair. whole steak right there. But, so that's, that's, that's what I'm on right now. Oh, I love it. Well, you're a diverse Philly man. We're happy that you're here. We have music. You're an entrepreneur with the water. Was mm -hmm. that important to kind of bring another product into the list of things in which you were yeah, you know, I mean, involved with? It, it all started with, you know, first, you, I'm a musician, so you had CDs. Yeah. You come to, I got two shows in a month. You already bought a seat the first one. You can't keep buying the same music. Right. So then it's like, all right, let's get some merchandise out there. Yeah. So we go with shirts and I got sneakers. I got I got watches. Um, you got watches? Yeah. I'm so, sorry. How did I miss that? Yeah, nice things. You I was linked up with this company called Joy Joy. We I got love watches it. and the way it works is oh. the watches are detachable from the band. Do we not love this? And then as I bring out more we'll get bands, close up to those. Yeah. yeah. As I bring out more bands, you already have a watch, so you just keep copping a limited edition band. I love that. So I got that, and then you know the water. People, do you think people it's, are thirsty. Do you think it's important this day and age for an artist or a musician to have multiple channels of revenue yeah. and, and ways that they can get out there? And meet I mean, the you look at the most successful artists, the money that they made, the most uh, like yeah. you know as, isn't necessarily off of music. The right. music opened that door for them yeah. to be able to do those other things. So last yeah. year. I've gotten acting, you yeah. know, all, all of that stuff. So it's just the proverbial next steps for when you are a musician. No, it should be. Yeah. No, we're gonna see you on the big screen. What yeah. kind of acting projects that we well, have? Well, I did. Um, I was in. I started in Kindred to Family Souls short yeah. film. Um, a couple friends. That was really cool. Yeah. Uh, and that was it. Very so well far. done. Very <laughs> well done. So now you have the itch. Now you have yeah. the acting oh, itch. Yeah, for sure. You're into it. Okay, yeah. that's good. So we'll look forward to seeing you. I mean, seeing you everywhere. Apparently. Yeah. Hopefully. I mean, everywhere from on the counters, you know, literally, literally in, you know, listening to the music or, you know, now on the big screen. But yeah. it's always a pleasure to meet with you. If people want more information about you, where do they find that information, friend? Um, go to the library and go see a sex. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Chill Moody, everything. Chillmoody.com. Instagram is Chill Moody. Twitter's Chill Moody. Okay. Very easy to find me. Okay. I'm, I'm not. You know, You're not hiding. Yeah, not well, we're looking. So yeah. we'll catch up with you soon. Thank right. you so much, honey. Thank you.